Welcome to Bike Day. We're taking a look at the unsung heroes of the road, the two-wheeled warriors we call cyclists. Just in, in a minute. We'll look at the cyclists in a minute. There's just... These blokes are hogging the road. It's yeah, no, it's a bit frustrating because the speed limit is 60 and we're doing 30. Uh, look, I really want to talk about the fun. The fun of riding bikes, getting exercise, fresh air, and the positive aspects. Okay, here's a fun one. Get off me bike and walk up the stairs. Nah, why would I do that? This is so unnecessary but so impressive. Oh, fuck me, Dad. She tried to touch him. She's like, take me, Daddy. Give me a dinky. Now we're in traffic. This bloke wants to head to the side. Smart idea. Oh, he's gone tits up. I don't even understand what happened. It looks like the bike betrayed him. That must hurt more than the tumble, being betrayed by your transportation companion. He's doing the right thing. He's pulled his bike out of the way. And some blokes gather to talk about it all. Hands on hips guy is definitely disappointed. He's saying, first thing you learn when you're a kid, wear a helmet. Where's your fucking helmet, mate? Are you too cool? There's nothing cool about your cerebellum splattered on the bitumen. Oi, Crystal, come here. Look at this guy. Thinks he's too cool for a helmet. The cyclist replies, okay, can we chat about this later? Nah, he's pissed off. He's out of there. He's got places to be. Horses, the ancestors to the push bike. A friendly cyclist is coming up to make a man's bitey bite right on the forearm. Bloody Farlap sends his regards. This is for putting us out of business. Hydration will clear up horse teeth punctures. No worries. Here's a gaggle of cyclists. The bloke on the red bike is feeling sleepy. Oh, his mate flies over him. I reckon they meant to do it. Acrobatic cycling is a thing. His mate looks fair dinkum acrobatic to me. I do reckon cyclists get a bad rap. Sure, they clog up the non-bike lane roads on their way to get smashed avo toast and a mocha from the cafe, but you have to admire their bravery to ride absolutely anywhere, even next to an ostrich. This group is in the ostrich leg of the race, which is where they have to avoid being attacked by a giant bird. It's one of the lesser known stages of the Tour de France, rarely broadcast, but an integral part of the race, steeped in tradition. We should always respect ostriches on the road and the cyclists they're chasing as well. The kangaroo leg is also rarely broadcast. Bam! Shit mixed! Wowee, Richo! You can hear Skippy yell, Say good day to destination, fucked for me! See ya! Overall, you do have to control yourself when you're in a car. Something about being in a little seat with a wheel makes everyone too angry. Road rage isn't the answer, people. It's not the answer. The cyclist is doing the right thing, walking away. Oh, the truck driver wants an actual fight against a guy with a helmet. Oh, the cyclist says, just because I'm wearing lycra, it doesn't mean I'm a soft cock. I'm a simple man on his way to get a pumpkin feta salad and a green matcher. Fair enough. Look after yourselves out there and each other. Please do whack the like button if you enjoyed this critical analysis. Also, I want your videos. Videos you've shot yourself, I want them. Or videos your mates have shot, tell them to send it to Aussie Man. There's a link in the post description below to an upload portal where you can upload your videos from your camera roll on your phone or your desktop personal home computer. Send them in. We might make an agreement with you and send you some beer money. Also, I have started a new channel, Aussie Man's Video Licensing, where I'll upload all the raw videos that I license. I'll explain more about how I operate entirely soon. But please do send them in so we can look at them. Cheers. <laughs>